So John decided to drop me off at this all-you-can-eat restaurant. He said, I'll be back when you've had enough to eat. He came back three weeks later, which was fine because by then it was out of business and they'd turned the building into a discount shoe store. <laughs> Garfield, you tell the best stories. Let's have another one. No, I'm not now. It's time for my nap. How do you know, Garfield? You're not wearing a watch. I don't need a watch. It's always time for a nap. We'll see you later, Garfield. Wait! I want another story. <sighs> Some other time, Nermal. Garfield, I'm not leaving until you tell me another story. What do you think of that? <sighs> <sighs> That's what I think of that. Hey, get off my head! <gasps> Who are you? And what were you doing hiding down there? Quick, hide! He's coming! Who's coming? Okay, he didn't see me. Can I trust you? What's your name? Normal cat, cutest kitten in the whole wide world. Can you prove it? Can't you tell? Okay, I'll have to take the chance. They call me Agent X. I'm a grade AAA undercover secret agent. Wow, a secret agent? Not so loud. That guy you went by, he's part of a devious international plot to destroy mankind. You've got to help me hide. Here he comes again! Quick! There you are. Ooh, wrong cat. Sorry. Come on! You've got to hide me before he comes back! Garfield! I have a great AAA undercover secret agent here. Can I hide him in your tool shed? Uh, be my guest. Thanks, Garfield. Uh, they'll never find you in here. This'll do, but what I really need now is some dinner. I have to keep my strength up if I'm gonna save all of mankind. Well, I'll go find you some dinner. I'm making one of Garfield's favorite dinners, Odie. I'll leave it here to cool while I bring in the mail. <laughs> John has dinner ready. That's a new world's record even for him. Gone in 15 seconds. You've already eaten, Garfield. I have? I missed it. Guess I ate so fast I didn't notice. Hope it was tasty. It's coming from the shed. Then, the enemy spies were about to sink Australia. Who are you? <gasps> and why did you eat my dinner? Which I thought for a minute I'd eaten, but I didn't. Don't bother answering. I don't care who you are or why you did it. Just get out. You can't throw him out, Garfield. He's a secret agent, and he's trying to prevent the destruction of all mankind. I guess we have to save mankind. Mankind makes pizzas. It's getting dark. Okay, he can stay, but just for the night. <sighs> I'd better get up. I have a full day of eating to get done before dinner time. I guess I'll start my morning with a great big bowl full of Where's my great big bull? I have an awful suspicion where my great big bull is. So, they ran me off the road, off the thousand foot cliff. Wow, how did you get away, Agent X? Fortunately, I was wearing my fake fur, 
and under it, I always have on a parachute. You are so clever, Agent X. Why are you listening to him? Because he's so brave. He's been so many places, done so many things. I've been places, I've done things. <laughs> really, Garfield? Where have you been? What have you done? <laughs> well, I've... Uh, I've slept in the living room, I've eaten lasagna, I've slept in the den, I've eaten ravioli, I've slept out back in the hammock. I think Agent X is the most fascinating brave male I've ever met. <gasps> Did I tell you all about the time I was aboard that runaway train? The enemy uh... spies were trained pickpockets. And they were all over Australia. Hey, Squeak, I thought secret agents were supposed to keep things secret and not tell everybody. Do you mind, Garfield? I'm trying to hear the story. Excuse me. I didn't mean to interrupt this meeting of the Agent X fan club. I didn't mean to ignore you, Garfield. It's just that Agent X is so interesting. He's getting too much attention, and worse, too much of my food. No, I haven't seen him. But I've got your number here. If I see this gray cat, I'll call you. Thanks very much. Him. That's Agent X, all right. This calls for a little secret agenting of my own. Hey, wait up! I got shorter legs than you! He went into this house. I'll bet this is the enemy spy's secret headquarters. Be careful. They may have atomic super weapons or something. That person. That must be their leader. Someone dangerous and powerful and... Any luck? None, I'm afraid. I passed out the photos to every home for a half a mile around. No one's seen them. I'm sorry, Granny. I'm afraid there's no sign of him. Oh, I'm not giving up hope. He'll come back to me. I know he will. We can get you another pet cat. I don't want another cat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I want my Fluffykins. Fluffykins? That secret agent is a secret fraud. He's just a runaway house pet. I'm gonna blow his cover and tell his admirers what he really is. What if they don't believe you? That's where I may need your help. I have an idea. Now listen. Here's what we're gonna do. So seen from the moon, the Earth is the most beautiful sight I've ever seen. Or I thought it was, until I saw your eyes, lovely Arlene. Stop! Time out! Stop the music! Agent X is a fake. His real name is Fluffykin. <gasps> He's a house cat from over on Crescent Avenue. <gasps> Uh-oh, uh, that's my cover. All us secret agents have cover stories. I pretend to be an ordinary house cat. <laughs> Shame on you, Garfield. <gasps> Being jealous like that. Jealous? Me? No, no. <sighs> I'm glad he's really a secret agent. I mean, uh... I wouldn't want to be the one to face Mr. Tig. <gasps> Who's Mr. Tig? Mr. Tig is the most famous evil spy of them all. I'm not worried about Mr. Tig. My sources tell me Mr. Tig is several continents away from here. Oh, yeah? Then who's that? Don't worry, Agent X. You can defeat him. Yeah! Like he defeated those undercover ninjas you told us about. So, at last we meet face to face, <gasps> Agent X. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, uh, you got it all wrong. <laughs> I'm not Agent X. Uh, my name is Fluffykins. Nice try, Agent X. But I know it is you. You forced me to use... Uh, Superior fighting skills. No, no, 
I'm not Agent X. I'm not. Come back here, you cowardly spy. We have to go help him. You all stay here. I'll help him. Gee, Garfield's braver than I thought. No, no, I'm not a secret agent. My name is Fluffykins. Okay, I'll make you a deal, Fluff. You go back to Granny and I'll take care of Mr. Tig here. Ooh. And I won't tell your adoring public what a fake you are. It's a deal. Oh. I'm getting out of the secret agent business. It's not safe. Tell me about it. You gonna tell everyone what a phony he was? Oh, uh, why spoil it for everyone? Mr. Tig fled in his top secret jet, and Agent X went after him. He yelled to me that it might be years before we ever saw him again. But oh, he's so brave. But you're pretty brave too, Garfield. Yeah. Well, I did have to help Agent X recharge his laser rays. Fortunately, I had a fresh uh, set of batteries in the house. Then 12 ninjas tried to stop me. Boy. <sighs> Listen to him. Don't dogs have any dignity? I've got a surprise for you guys. A surprise? Ooh, what sort of surprise? I want a surprise. Meow, 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 meow. The things I wouldn't do for a present. It better be worth it. I thought both of you could do with a little grooming before your monthly checkup with Liz. I humiliated myself for a grooming tool? Who wants to try it first? Garfield? You try it. No one touches this verb in my hairdresser. Odie! Good boy. Come over here. <laughs> Hi, Liz. Lunch tomorrow? Sure, love to. Bodhi. Bodhi, yahoo. I'm bored. All that fuss over a mere brush? Whoa! You are a sad, strange little dog, Odie. Hey, Odie. Want to play kick the dog with me? What do you mean you'd rather spend time with her? It's just a stupid brush. This is a new low, even for you, Odie. Hey, if you break up with the brush, I've got some nice nail clippers for you. <laughs> What's up? Huh? 
Do me a favor and drop that stupid breast before they see you. I refuse to be the laughing stock of the entire neighborhood. Hi, Garfield. Hi, Odie. Hey, Odie. Is that a brush you're holding? <laughs> More like an imaginary girlfriend. Look who's talking. Remind me why you always carry that teddy bear of yours everywhere. Uh, I, I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, that is just so cute. I have got to do something about that brush. There's only room for two pets in this house. An imaginary and not, you're out. <laughs> Dogs have the attention span of a goldfish. Give it an hour and he won't remember that brush. Trust me. Ah, shoot, I'm late. Liz is gonna kill me! Oh! Odie? Odie, what on earth are you doing? Odie, stop it! Bad dog! Bad dog! <laughs> Uh, Liz? <laughs> of course I didn't forget our brunch. <laughs> yep, I'm on my way. <laughs> hey, you don't happen to know a good gardener, do you? All that fuss for a stupid brush? This is ridiculous. And you don't have anything to do with the brush's disappearance, do you? How could you think so badly of me? <sighs> okay, I did it. I got rid of that stupid brush. And I was doing Odie a favor, if you ask me. Oh, please, save it for the jury. You did it because you were jealous Odie cared about someone else. Someone else? We're talking about a brush, aren't we? For Odie, it was much more than just a brush, and you knew that, too. Nah, he'll get over it. We're gonna need more coffee. How about earplugs? Uh, not funny. Where's my breakfast lasagna? <sighs> Sorry, Garfield. I feel way too tired to cook you anything. Okay, sleep deprivation I can actually deal with. But lasagna deprivation? That is just flat out intolerable. I gotta fix this mess. Uh, I'm sorry, man. It has bristles and a handle. Perfect. Odie will never know the difference. Oh my! Odie, look who's back. Well, that dog isn't brain dead after all. Who would have thought? Okay, fine. You won. I'll take you to your girlfriend. Oh, 
This is where the cruel deed was done. Whoopsie doopsie. I'm gonna lose one of my nine lives just for a stupid brush. <laughs> Sorry, kid. This is an emergency. Hey! I'll bring it back, I promise. Welcome aboard and fasten your seatbelt. We're in for one bumpy ride. Be just another greasy spot on Main Street. <laughs> that was close. <laughs> Ugh, barf. <gasps> Hody, Hody, come back! Bad dog, bad! It can't get any worse, can it? Get out of here. <clears throat> there you are. I've been looking for you all over. Ew, gross. You two smell as if you just crawled out of a garbage disposal. <laughs> I can't smell a thing. What about you, Odie? Odie? This evening? <laughs> How about dinner? I thought it might be somebody. 
Just thought you'd like to know, I'm being entered in the big pet show contest. Not particularly. Oh, don't be jealous, Garfield. It's not your fault that I'm adorable and you're not. You don't even know any tricks. Sure I know a trick. Want to see a trick? It's called the hurl the obnoxious kitten out of the yard and have him land in the trash dumpster trick. Don't I do it well? All right, Garfield. Just for that, I'm not sharing the lasagna with you. Lasagna? What lasagna? Where's lasagna? First prize in the pet show is 100 pounds of Vito's lasagna. A whole three-day supply of Vito's lasagna? Where do I sign up? <laughs> no chance, Garfield. You're not cute enough to even be entered into the pet show. All the judges will just laugh at you. Oh, yeah? We'll see about that. <laughs> Boy, do I hate it when Nermal's right. Didn't make it, Garfield? I'm sorry. I guess the judges and I are even. I don't think they're so cute either. It's okay, Odie. Mr. Arbuckle, I'm sorry we had to reject your cat, but he's just so uncute. Well, you're no Miss Supermodel yourself, fella. <gasps> Is that your dog? Sure, his name is Odie. This is the cutest dog I've seen in 20 years of judging pet shows. You must enter him in the contest. Do it, Oatster. I'll be your manager, and if you win, we'll split the prize. Riri? <gasps> Riri. <laughs> Note, I did not say equally. <laughs> My dog seems to want to be in the contest. Excellent! I'll go fill out the paperwork. That means we have 83 contestants. 83 contestants? Whew. How's Odie gonna win all that lasagna for me against 82 other contestants? I'll have to do something to kind of narrow the odds a bit. Hey, Garfield! As soon as I heard first prize was lasagna, I knew you'd be in this contest. Not me. Not for that lasagna. I thought you loved Vito's lasagna. Not anymore. Not since Vito started making it healthy. Healthy lasagna? Ain't that a contradiction? Yeah, makes it out of soy and tofu, and then he throws in some tofu and soy. Ugh. Sounds awful. It's lasagna I won't eat. That ought to tell you plenty. I'm going to go to the other pet show on the east side of town. They have real delicious lasagna as the price. Hey, if that's where the great prize is, that's where I'm going. <sighs> One down, 81 to go. Really? On the east side of town? Would I mislead you? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, well, you always know where the good lasagna is, Garfield. Always. <laughs> 79, 80, 81. Huh, I missed one. Ladies and gentlemen, may I have your attention, please? We seem to have lost most of our contestants. Gee, I wonder where they all went. We only have two. Odie the dog. <laughs> and Normal the cat. Normal. That's the one I missed. <laughs> Our two contestants will compete in several events to determine the winner, starting with the cuteness competition. I know you're rooting for Odie Garfield, but there's no way anyone's going to beat Normal in the cuteness competition. Yeah, well, we'll see about that. First, the judges will score Odie with regard to cuteness. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. I love a good intellectual competition. Well, let's see how the judges have scored Odie. Huh. Odie gets an 8, a 9, and a 10 for a total of 27 points. And now, we'll test the cuteness of Nermal. 
And now we'll put cotton into Odie's ears. Here's where I take an early lead. I do cute better than anybody. Observe what happens when you rub claws on the average blackboard. <laughs> and in the cuteness competition, the judges give Normal a one, a zero, and a minus three. I can't believe it. You're almost as uncute as that fat orange cat that applied earlier. <laughs> in any case, Odie has won the first event. Zanya prize will be mine. Well, mine and Odie's, but mostly mine. We can't possibly lose. The next event will be based on intelligence. <laughs> Boy, can we lose. The object of this competition is to find two matching items in the pile. Oh, my. Normal will go first. On your mark, get set, go! <laughs> Finds one slipper and then it's match in seven seconds. Ah, let's see you top that, dog. All right, boy. Go select an item from the pile. A slipper. Okay. Now go pick another slipper out of the pile. No, that's a baseball mitt. We need a slipper. No, that's a flashlight. Get a slipper. No, that's an eight by ten glossy of Elvis Presley. We need a slipper. A slipper. No, that would be the Klopman Diamond. I'm sorry, Odie has brought you every item in the building except the matching slipper. Normal wins this event, tying the score. Odie, why can't you just bring me a slipper? Even you're not that stupid. Why can't you understand me? The contest will be settled by the final event, the obstacle course. Everyone, step outside. The pet who reaches the end of this obstacle course first will win the competition. And this piping hot lasagna from the master Italian chef, Vito. <laughs> Pets ready? On your mark, get set, go! Finish line. Face it, Garfield. Odie's lost. I'm not giving up that lasagna without a fight. <laughs> and Normal's heading for the finish line. Looks like this one is just about over, folks. One more photo, <laughs> Normal. <laughs> My public. What's this? Normal stopped just short of the finish line for a photo op. Just one more. Uh, now smile this way. One more photo, Normal. Uh, now you're good sight. Now you're under good sight. And now what's happening? Odie has come from behind and is heading for the finish line. And Odie's the winner! Hey! What's everybody cheering about? I didn't win yet. And it looks like it's gonna stay that way. <gasps> Hey, nice job, Odie. You're a champion. <laughs> Enjoy your lasagna prize, fellas. Oh, and Garfield, Odie won the contest, so divide it up fairly. <gasps> Did you think I wouldn't? Did you think I would cheat someone out of their fair share of lasagna? Odie gets a piece and I get a piece. What could be fairer than that? <laughs> Here's your one piece. 
And here's my one piece. I won't eat it all now. I'll eat some now and some in eight minutes. Nothing will prevent me from enjoying this. <laughs> There was no pet show on the east side of town. What? No pet show on the east side of town? Boy, we ought to get my paws on that evil liar who told me that. Yeah, we walked all the way over there and back, and now we're hungry. What do you have to say to that? Care for some lasagna? Thanks. I thought you'd never offer. while I'm away. Don't eat all the ribs while I'm away. <laughs> Did he really think I'd eat all the ribs while he was away? <sighs> what should I do now? I think I'll eat all the ribs while he's away. Mmm, <laughs> -hmm. oh, good. <laughs> oh, it's you. You hungry, Papo? Yeah. Fine, I'll give you the part I can't eat. That's the best thing about dogs. They're happy with stuff that no one else would want to eat. Oh. A bone. A juicy, delicious bone. Hey, Ori, look at that mockingbird. He's mocking you. Another bone? How could you have finished the first one? No, I'm not giving you another bone. If you want a bone, go dig up one of yours that you've buried out in the garden over the years. The best part of eating ribs? Mm, licking your paws. So you found a big bone. Big deal, don't bother me. So it's the biggest bone you ever saw? Don't, I repeat, bother me. Oh, all right, all right, I'll look at it. Oh, if it only had meat on it. Odie, you know what this is? But not just any big bone. Come on. That's a dinosaur bone. Those are worth a lot of money. This is the website for the town's natural history museum. Watch. 
Here at the museum, we are especially proud of our dinosaur skeletons. Recently, we located this one. It's a Tyrannosaurus Rex from the Cretaceous period. This skeleton is valued at more than a quarter of a million dollars. A quarter of a million dollars? Hootie, I'm rich. Do you know how much lasagna you can buy for a quarter of a million dollars? Enough to feed me. Wow. I'm gonna take that bone down to the museum and find that lady. You go dig up the rest of the skeleton. We found this skeleton in someone's backyard on the west side of town. We had to get a court order to have the people who live there evicted and their home torn down, but we did it all in the name of science. Odie, get back to work. Have that skeleton dug up by the time I get back. Apatosaurus, also known as Apatosaurus, lived 150 million years ago and weighed a minimum of 23 metric tons. 23 metric tons? That's more than I weigh after a good Italian dinner. Okay, I gotta find that lady who'll pay me a fortune for the bones that he's digging up. Cat, you're in a lot of trouble. Uh, and first, you put that bone down. That's museum property. Oh, no, 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 no. I brought this bone with me. It's going to make me rich. No, I'm trapped. There's no way out of here. Okay, I've got him quartered in the Tyrannosaurus Rex exhibit. He can't possibly get away. Congratulations, you're now an exhibit. The first security guard to be swallowed by a Tyrannosaurus. Ah! ah help! Ah! Myron, a cat stole a bone and is heading down corridor 11 with it. Where's that lady who pays the big bucks for dino bones? Sorry, cat. Our dinosaur bones are not to-go orders. But I brought this one with me. Odie found it in the garden. Hey, I recognize you. You live with that Arbuckle guy on my block. What seems to be the trouble, Myron? No trouble, Mrs. Brewbaker. This cat tried to steal this dinosaur bone. I don't recognize this bone from any of our exhibits. It's... it's from a Brachiosaurus. A Brachiohoosus? This is one of the rarest dinosaurs in the world. We don't have one in our collection. Cat, did you find this where you live? I'll take the money in small bills, uh, mostly hundreds. We must have an immediate excavation to find every possible bone on the property. We'll get a court order to tear down any buildings or dwellings. Tear down? You mean, you just tear down this Arbuckle guy's home? Science is more important than anyone's individual life. Our house? I won't let you. The cat's getting away. Let him. You seem to know where the property is. Let's go. Myron? Myron, can you hear me? Did somebody come and get me out of this? Somebody? Anybody? I have to get rid of those bones or they'll tear down our house. Oh. <laughs> 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 
dug up an entire dinosaur. Uh -huh. You did as I asked, boy, and that's great. There's just one more thing I want you to do for me. <sighs> Bury them all again. No! No, there's no time. This is awful. I should have given you that second rib bone you asked for instead of sending you out to dig here. <laughs> what do you mean you never got to even enjoy the first one? I gave it to you. No! <laughs> What? Hercules stole it? That little sawed-off chihuahua down the block? Mm-hmm. This could work out just fine. Oh, yes. Hey, what's haps there, Hercules? If you come to take the bone back, I'm not giving it to you. I stole it fair and squares. Oh, no, you can keep it. Audie doesn't bother with those tiny bones anymore. This is not a tiny bone. It is a good-sized bone. Oh, you think so, huh? Come on. Take a look at the kind of bone Odie's been digging up at our place. Oh! <laughs> you can keep any of those tiny bones you come across. Who needs them? Well, I have to take Odie for a walk, so I hope nobody steals his new bones while we're gone. <gasps> can it be? It's true. It's true! The largest, most beautiful bones I've ever seen! I don't care how many trips I have to make, these bones will be all mine! Hold on, hold on! I just got home this minute. What is it you want to do? It's what we are going to do. We're having your home declared a site of vital scientific interest. We're going to tear down the whole house and dig for dinosaur bones. Dinosaur bones? There are no dinosaur bones here. There are. Your cat had one. Want to see where the dinosaur bones are? You want us to follow you, cat? <laughs> there are your dino bones, lady. My word! Those are Brachiosaurus bones. Forget about Mr. Arbuckle's property. Let's tear this house down and dig. I don't know how you do it, Garfield. I don't know how I do it either. Come on, boy. Let's get home and see if there are any ribs left. You can have the bone, and I'll take all the meat stuff they stick on the outside. <laughs> Guys, I made beef stew. Whoops. Odie, you left one of your doggy toys out again. This is not the first time this has happened, Odie. And if it isn't you leaving your doggy toys around, it's Garfield and his supper dishes. Whoa. Like that one. You know, if you'd fill them more often, I wouldn't leave them out where you would trip over them. Guys, you have got to learn to pick up after yourself. Oh, now who could that be? 
I sometimes feel like I spend half my life picking up after my pets. Uh, yes? Good day, sir. Uh, do you feel like you spend half your life picking up after your pets? I just said that. Well, I have just the answer to your problem. Behold! The all-new rechargeable digital drive robotic custodial marvel of the ages, the Tidy 7000! It's a robot. Not just a robot, sir. A robot that can keep your home sparkling, clean, neat, and immaculate. John's right. I know it doesn't happen often, but John's right. We're getting the house kind of messy. He shouldn't be the one to pick up all this stuff. Let me know when you get it done. I'm gonna go make a sandwich. Huh? Let me give you a little demonstration. I'll set the robot to clean up after pets. be a sandwich of historic proportions. First, the bread. Now I need something good to put between the two slices of bread. Like maybe everything. Ah, there we go. Yeah, that'll do it for a start. No, let's see, I j Wait, that's funny. I thought I had some bread out. Hmm. All right, you overgrown toaster oven. Give me back my sandwich or else. Uh, one second, Beth. You keep the sandwich. I'm going out for a pizza. Here's my sandwich. Mm, this is pretty good. Oh, hi, Yori. No, you can't have any of my sandwich. Huh? Do you have any idea what just happened to us? No, me neither. Let's find out so we can uh, make it never happen again. Just sign here, Mr. Arbuckle, and the tidy 7,000 will be yours for just 7,000 easy payments. First, I want to see how it worked. Huh? Very nice. Very nice. I can't recall my living room ever looking this good. So, is it a deal, Mr. Arbuckle? Just sign here and the robot will be cleaning your house every hour of every day. No! Please don't buy that robot. Please don't buy that robot. Please don't buy that robot. Did I say you shouldn't buy that robot? Oh, no. Well, Mr. Arbuckle, you bought yourself a robot. Here's the instruction manual. Why? <sighs> It has a money-back guarantee. I'll check back with you later and see how it's working for you. You two won't be messing up the house any longer. Yeah, because we won't survive. <laughs> I never read instruction manuals. Oh. Mm, 
I could convince you I was a jar of raspberry preserves today. <laughs> In here again. Well, maybe Odie will get me out. It's not much for that, maybe. Odie, oh pal, we have to do something about this robot. The question is what to do. Do you have any ideas? Uh, no, you never have any ideas. Why am I even asking? Odie, that's the instruction huh? manual for the robot. Maybe you did have an idea and didn't even know it. Okay, I think I have it. We just need someone to distract that bucket of bolts. Odie, oh, old friend. Let's see, reprogramming sequence. Okay, I changed the programming. Instead of cleaning up after pets, it's now gonna clean up after pet owners. <laughs> Hey, not me, robot. You're supposed to clean up after the cat and the dog, not me. Oh, you're not supposed to chase me. I own you. In my house, I'm allowed to get it dirty. Let's see how John likes it. Not me. That's not me. Oh. Uh, the tickle? Don't! Uh, somebody turn it off! Well, what do you think, Odie? Shall we uh, turn it off? Mm -hmm. Help! Help! I'm clean! I'm clean! Honest, I'm clean, okay? Oh. 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 I'm sorry, guys. I didn't realize what it would do. It's that salesman's fault. He should have warned me about that thing. Well, I have an idea about him. Mr. Arbuckle, I'm here to see how things are going with the Tidy 7000. <laughs> Where's this mud coming from? This is awful. How am I going to get clean? Stop! No! No, I designed you! You, you can't turn on me! <laughs> nice work, Garfield. You reprogrammed it to... Clean, sleazy salespeople. There are a lot of them, you know. I'll get rid of that robot and get my money back and... My money back! I have to get Mr. Sellers to give me my money back! Uh, Mr. Sellers! Robot! Come back! Come on, Odie. Let's go in and uh, dirty up the place. 